Kanja here. Today I'm going to explain you how to upgrade to version 2. Not the plugin itself, because that's really easy, but your workspaces. Your workspaces of v version 2.4 are not compatible with version 3. So you have to upgrade them. Now, the first thing to do always is backup. Backup your workspace and your Eclipse. Upgrade your workspace and upgrade your Eclipse after you've taken a backup. There are actually three ways you can do an upgrade from your workspace. You can work in your workspace and upgrade it. Very difficult. You can open two workspaces. One workspace in your old version of Eclipse and one in your new version of Eclipse. And that's the one I advise you to do. has changed and what has to be changed in your workspace. So of course, now you don't have a link anymore to the Arduino EDA, so that has to be removed from your system. It's not gonna really have problems, but it would be better if it was gone, and that's why I advise to create a new workspace. Anyway, also in 2.4, your Arduino code was in the folder Arduino. This has changed to core. Yeah. We know the Arduino Eclipse plugin can handle much more boards now than only the Arduino boards, but that's not the reason why it's being renamed Core. It's being renamed to Core because the way the platform.txt handles libraries, and basically I had to rename it to Core. There was no other way out. And because I renamed one folder, I fixed another thing I wanted to fix a long time, which is that libraries was with capital and it should be with a small hell. So I changed that one too. The consequence of that is that you have your include path changed completely. You have to remove the old ones and you have to add the new ones. Some of it happens automatically when you select a new board, some of it doesn't. So again it's easier to just create a new project. And the same counts for your exclude paths. Now your exclude parts don't change when you change your board. We're here on my system and everything we're gonna use is here in the embedded. So I start with making a backup. It's gonna take some time. And uh, what you see here is, this is the code which I used to, this is actually the code to make the plugin. This is version 2.4, which we have a workspace on, and we're going to move to, to version 3.0. So we're playing very safe here, in the sense we have a full backup of 2.4, 3.0. We can always go back to 2.4 because we haven't removed it and we can test and go with 3.0 now that we have a full backup we can do whatever we want here we're safe so the first thing we're going to do is to rename the workspace because we actually want to have the exact same workspace name. So I call this workspace.org. Yeah, so then we open to so the old version actually. And we point it to not to workspace, but to workspace.org so that it's going to the old workspace. We also start the V3. And we tell him to go to the workspace, which doesn't exist. So, in the meantime, he's been looking here. 
uh, some errors here, but if my errors here, but if you compile it, it'll be fine. So we have three projects here, app server, the multi-config and the serial. So this is actually an ESP project. I don't have any of these boards, so I can only compile. The multi-config is actually a project with two configurations, one for the UN and one for the Leonardo. And the third one is a serial connection, so we can do small tests for uploads and stuff like that. This is not my real workspace, it's just a, uh, a setup I have here to demonstrate the migration process. So we ha are here in the Arduino Eclipse EDE. Uh, Windows, you drag this one to the left and you go this way. And then we double click on this one and now you have the two nicely next to each other. This is the new one, this is the old one. How can you tell? There is here the green icon, which you had the same icon as the Arduino EDE. We changed that so you could see the difference between the Arduino EDE and the Arduino Eclipse plugin. So the first thing to do is I do this that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get that out of sync problem, you just have to press the F5 button. And that's because we actually renamed the, the workspace. So we do a rename. We do Control C, cancel. We open the properties. And we look at the Arduino stuff. Now, the first thing to do is to create the project. I copied the uh, name so it can paste the name. This is uh, ESP board. It's the who's a uh, oops. I don't have a uh, uploading using serial 80 megahertz for upload speed. 11.52, yep. Next, go for the default.ino, that's easiest, okay. Now you open it, you delete the file that has been created. You open the properties, the same Arduino properties here. And these should be exactly the same. The uploading protocol is removed. Uh, and we che also check your compile options, whether they're good or not. Uh, check your configurations, whether you have more than one. There's only one, there's only one. So that's exactly the same. So we can close the two of them. Now we simply drag and drop all our project files from the old workspace into the new project. When Eclipse asks us whether we want to copy or link, we say we want to copy. Compile. Go to the console. We see, oh, oh. There is still a fault meter 1.h. Why is that? Because I use a libraries which I did not yet include in my path. If you go here, Windows, Preferences, Arduino, you see the private library is hit GitHub libraries and GitHub hardware, which is basically how I you do this on Windows. I use the GitHub tool to maintain stuff. And I just point directly to the GitHub uh, storage. So, and here the GitHub is not here. So we'll add the GitHub here. It's on Yon documents, GitHub libraries. I'm not using any of the hardware stuff. So I'm not going to copy the hardware here. Okay. So now we do a build again. So 
now it started and the project has been migrated due to the auto include feature which is available in three there is uh, our first project so in the meantime as he's building we can go back here oops just want to first copy the name of course rename Control c cancel right click properties and we go here or do we know that's the one we need okay he's done here not that that's important but he is done and he compiled okay so now we're going to create the multi-config which is actually an Arduino board. So we go here and we select the AVR boards. We go with the Arduino Leonardo first. It's on COM9. Oops, COM9. Okay, we can click finish. We delete the created file. Yes, oops, delete, not. okay, we open the project properties, the Arduino, so we have the Arduino board here, Leonardo, Leonardo, we don't have any special compile options, but the second config, so we don't have second config here, so manage configurations, uh, new second config oops no capitals config okay okay note that when you create one it's not selected here automatically so now yeah, we go to second config and that's a un so we select the UN and we select the select the network connected UN which is called Pong. Uh, we go to compile options, but as far as I know, they're all the same. The same. So that's one. So we copy the source code the spec t is just some annoying thing you don't need that one you can better get rid of it so we compile this one we built the release so we let's upload it we're not building before upload now we will just build it so he found the leonardo and uploaded to the leonardo uh, now we're going to change the configuration to you can see here it's the com port yeah that's one of the nice features of the new plugin um we're going to build configuration set active second config which is actually the un so we're going to build it again. And we're going to upload it. So you see he's doing a completely different uploading protocol. He actually uploads first to the... the the, the, the local Linux and then runs the command on the Linux. So this one is ported as well. So we have a ported an ESP, we have ported a UN and we have ported a Leonardo project now. So it's a rename, control C, cancel, show the properties. And show the Arduino here. 
So this is a Uno, it's not really a Uno, it's a uh, Dominovi with the Uno bootloader. So it's serial, but in that case you have to select the Uno. And Uno is on COM port 4. COM port 4. Next, finish. So again, we delete the serial.eno file. Delete. OK. We can check again, but the compile options are blank, so that's not necessary. So again, we don't copy the spec.t because that's a problem with that. And uh, again, you see automatically imported the libraries. Yeah, yeah. Should have clicked here. Yeah. So we close all these things here, close all, and we go for the serial monitor. We upload it. No, we just build it. So now he's opening the serial monitor the way he should, and he's actually printing here, still alive, at... Oh, there should have been a space, so I add a space, I upload. Now I want to build, yes. So we're gonna clear it, we're gonna put on the auto scroll. After the build, he's automatically, and you see he's doing the space. So basically we migrated the whole out, the, the three projects and the four configurations.